everyone, it's Gidu, and in this video, I'm going to be doing unboxings for the Junta and Takuto B Style Bunny figures by Freeing, distributed by Good Smell Company. I originally wasn't going to pick these two figures up. I didn't pre order them because I thought they were a little overpriced. And then I found them for slightly cheaper. Really recently, there was like one left of the of I think Takuto and a few left of Junta on Amazon Japan and they were on like for a slightly discounted price they were still in my opinion way too much for what they are being only one eighth scale figures I like really enjoy this manga slash anime um there's like questionable problematic things in it as like most yaoi has but we're not going to talk about those. Um, they are from the anime um, Dakaretai, I believe. I think that the English translation is called um, I'm Being Harassed by the Number One Sexiest Man or something. So the name's really long. Actually, wait, wait. What is it? It's Dakaretai Otoko no... Otoko no ni... Otoko ichi ni... Odasarete imasu. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> So yes, the name is incredibly long and hard to say, and I'm just going to ignore that I did that. So here are the two figures. I'm going to unbox them both. We'll do Junta first. So here is Junta's figure. I'm sorry, this is like a really odd video, and I think I just knocked my camera. It's not shaking. Stop. So here's the front of the box. We've got the side of the box. We've got the back of the box. You can't even see. <laughs> They're tall boxes, so it's kind of hard for me to film like this because I can't get my camera at a different angle than this right now. The boxes look. I was quite happy how um, they were packaged when they were shipped to me. Uh, there was like the tiniest bit of damage on Junta's box. It's just this little crease here, but it's pretty minor, so I'm not too, too upset about it. I am excited to own these figures. Even though I told myself I wasn't going to spend the money on them, I ended up caving. Their Nendroids come out this June, I believe. I am very excited to get those as well. The Nendroids look super cute. I've never owned a bunny figure before, so these will be my first. Uh, since Beastyle has recently been doing male bunny figures, you can see the inside of the box is this green pattern here. They've been doing bunny figures for like ever, but they recently started doing um, BL bunny figures. So that is really exciting. Love getting some dudes in bunny figures as well, because who doesn't like a good bunny figure? Also, again, I apologize for filming the video like this as well. It's not like my normal stuff. Uh, <laughs> My skin's breaking out right now and my mental health isn't super great. So I just am not gonna be on camera for now. Let's get his base out first. It is just a, already has scratches on it from literally nothing, love that. I hate like plastic bases like this, to be honest, the like super plain ones. I'd almost prefer if they were a matte. I hate the shiny because the shiny always ends up getting scratched like that. And like he's, <laughs> this was brand new in a box. Let's get Junta out of there. This is him here. Please ignore my camera for some reason. Really loves turning things very warm tinted and I don't know why. Oh look, he just stands on his own. So this is him here. I'm gonna pop him on his base really quick so I don't like accidentally knock him over. Okay, as some of these figures tend to be, which make me very sad, Oh, I'm just gonna slide that out of the way. You kind of have to bend their leg to get them to fit on the pegs, which ooh, sends me someplace not good. Oh my god, I love his shoes. They're glossy. I have got him on his base. This is what he looks like. He's actually a lot nicer than I expected. I was expecting, for some reason, a bit of lower quality. Uh, his clothes are quite shiny though. We will do a 360. It's kind of hard to show you his full thing because he's so tall and my camera is in such a weird position. So his clothing is quite shiny. Um, I could have done with a little more of a matte finish to that, I think, personally. I'm going to bring him a little closer for you guys to see. 
Okay, so here is his face. Quite nice. He's got earrings. His hair, in my opinion, is okay. Um, there's like a little to be desired in the sculpt, in my opinion, personally. It is a little thick and noodly. I prefer very sharp ends, and I feel like some of the pieces are sharper, but some of them are just kind of noodly, and that is unfortunate. His ears have green on the inside. He's got his ring, as you can see. Very nice. He's holding the other glove in his mouth while he's pulling the other one down. His sleeves are open there. The buttons look really nice. There's even buttons on the inside shirt there. Like, his body looks very nice. Nicely sculpted. It has nice shading. I think more shading than I expected. And then his tail coat here has green as well. My camera's showing it as a fairly bright green. Um, but it's almost more of like maybe a sage green. So that's that. Uh, there's some issues with his pants here. I don't know what's going on with the texture. It's like almost rubbed off or like some kind of dirt or dust is stuck on there and I can't seem to get it off. Perhaps like some glue got on there or something and some dust stuck to it. I'm not sure. Uh, not a huge fan of that. His tail coat and stuff, like I said, pretty shiny. He's got a little tail there. I think the tail could, again, have been less shiny. There's his booty. Uh, a little hard to see because of the pants he's wearing. These are what his pants, looks like, pants look like. I think his shoes are quite nice, though. Like, the extra glossy shoes look super nice. He's got a bulge going on because his pants are undone. He's getting ready for something. But this is him here and all of his glory. Again, could do with a little better hair. Back of the ears are a little plain because it's just like a black plastic, which is, I guess, to be expected. But I kind of like, I'm not, I don't hate the way his face turned out. Uh, I always think that there's, like, room for improvement. I don't think his face is perfect, but I think it tried to keep the essence of the manga art a little bit. I love that they have the ring. <laughs> that makes me very happy. I also apologize for my camera. It just really likes to take skin color and, like, make it very warm, even though I have my light on the coolest light setting. We'll get Takato out of the box. So this is his box here. It is blue. The top, the sides, they're all pretty, pretty boring in my opinion. It's just the figure at different angles. And of course the back shows pictures of him on the back there. Bottom is just plain. But let's get him opened. Takato has the same pattern, just in a blue on his box. The other one didn't have any tape, so I'm assuming this one doesn't either. Oh, those straight up hurt to get off. Jeez. Takato's base is the exact same, just a plain brown with the pegs and the project name on the bottom. He has a lot more packaging around him. Just gonna put him on his base. Let's get this plastic off of him to protect him from any paint transfer. This is what Takato looks like. Full body. Gonna do a little rotation of him. I think his pose is super nice. It's very dynamic and just kind of unique, which I like. So he has the same color tail coat and in inner ears as Junta does. I am a little surprised they chose the same colors considering that Junta has a different color box. Junta has the green box and he has the blue box. I was kind of expecting him to have like blue accents, but they both have green accents. 
His pants are done up, but his shirt is definitely falling off. He's got this crazy feather boa thing going on. His ears are super cute, in my opinion, kind of like a loppy. I'll give you guys a bit of a closer look at him. Well, this is what his face looks like. I think he actually looks quite pretty. Um, the mouth is a little odd, maybe. <laughs> Again, I think there's always room to improve. I think the hair could still be improved. But the overall idea of the figures is really nice. Uh, I really love the ears. I think the shading on his hair is pretty decent. Oh my god, I just realized he has green nail polish. Why do I love that so much? And he's also wearing his ring, which is really cute. So this is super awkward for me to do. I prefer almost filming my videos in a different way. So this is just me testing stuff out. If you guys are okay with this film style, let me know. If you prefer um, me doing it a different way, let me know with the, as well with that. Oh my goodness, you can see the like definition on his back. That is always welcome in my opinion. <laughs> I just really like backs. <laughs> and it's nice to see that because they went to the detail of his arms being raised like that, that his shoulder muscles would be tensed back there. So that's really cool. Um, again, the green nail polish just kills me. The boa thing is okay. I think it's a little weird painted. I don't know. Um, it's kind of shiny. You can see some kind of like, like deformation there. I think his hair looks nice in the back, the way it's kind of swooped like that. That's pretty cool. I apologize, my camera is literally shit. Here's his, the back of his cloak. I feel like his jacket is less shiny than June does. Yeah, his jacket is definitely less shiny than June does. I prefer his tail coat here. Looks a lot nicer than the extra shiny one that he has. I don't know, it just it just it looks better and like higher quality. Same thing, his pants. Are his pants any more matte? No, I think his pants are still pretty shiny. Um, nice shiny boots. The shoes are good. The inside green could be a little more matte as well. It's pretty, pretty shiny. Pants are pretty shiny. There is like a weird mark on his crotch, which I know that sounds odd, but there's like this weird like white that's here as well as Junta also has that on his pants as well. I don't know. It's probably not showing up on camera, but there's like the spot on his knee that looks like somebody had powder on their finger and like when he was not dry yet had touched it and like <laughs> left a finger mark i don't know it's kind of upsetting to be honest considering how expensive they were same thing with this like it looks like somebody had something on their fingers and like touched right here before he was dry i've tried to wipe it off and it it won't it won't come off uh he's got nipples they're pink they're cute I'm happy they're pink. I was upset at Oba's 18 plus figure because I didn't find his nipples pink enough. <laughs> um, if you, <laughs> you can check out my channel for that video if you are interested. Uh, I do lots of unboxings of BL and video game related stuff and manga and anime and blah blah blah. So you can check out my channel for that stuff. But yeah, this is more or less what he looks like. The little accessories in his hair, all the details. You got these little dangly things that I'm worried are gonna break off on his boa. Oh, that's actually nice too, I didn't notice. So even though his shirt is open, you can actually still see that they do have some buttons painted. So that's kind of cool that they still did the button detailing. Uh, and of course you have the detailings on the cuffs of his coat as well, which I didn't point out before. Really quick, I just wanted to add the cute little bunny tail under his coat which you can't see very well normally but it's there and it's cute and i didn't notice this notice this earlier you can see better now this weird texture that's on his pants that i don't know what's going on with that or why his pants are doing that <laughs> so i don't know it's really irritating 
but uh, don't mind me zooming in on his crotch. <laughs> uh, you can see actually like all of the, the zipper teeth. They're not super, super detailed or anything, but there you can see a few teeth and then this side is just kind of like less detailed, but it's there and he has a belt and stuff. But yeah, I thought maybe I would just show you that. I think from now on, I'm still going to film my videos of the characters closer up handheld just because it's a lot easier for me to control them. But you guys can let me know what your opinion is, whether you prefer kind of like the static camera or if you prefer me holding the camera and filming in this matter. These are the boys. I like them well enough. I, again, I am a little upset about the marks on their pants. I think that's like the biggest thing for me. I really don't like that. I am happy with them otherwise. Uh, like I said, I had my issues, but I knew about the issues that I had with it before, except like the pants thing. Um, and there's a little dark mark on his torso, which is like really upsetting. Um, that one upsets me. I might be able to get that off, but I guess we'll see. Uh, yeah, so wasn't gonna buy them, bought them anyways, no self-control, but I was aware of like the hair and stuff, so I bought them regardless of knowing that I wouldn't be ecstatic. Like, I'm not overwhelmed with amazing quality and like super excited, but I am so happy to have them and I don't honestly regret picking them up. So, that is it. I will link all of my social media in the description below. You can check that out. And I will link my affiliate links through City Japan and Tokyo Taka Mode. If you purchase anything th through those links, I get a small commission. So thank you guys so much for doing that. I really appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think of these guys. Do you like them? Do you think they were way overpriced? Do you think they're ugly? <laughs> Give me your opinion down below. I'd appreciate it. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.